Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to avoid entering duplicate bills. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and uh, you can find us at qbuniversity.org. All right, so here we are in QuickBooks 2019, and a real problem that I have seen with uh, clients of ours is, you know, when they get a bill and they enter that bill and the vendor may send another bill just because they haven't gotten paid or you never know. Sometimes they send these duplicate bills and you go to enter that bill and you face a risk of entering that bill twice. And then you face the risk of paying that bill twice. Okay. Then you would get a credit, you know, most likely, uh, maybe you can get your money back, but a lot of times cash is tight for small business and you don't want to enter and pay bills twice. So QuickBooks has a feature that will alert you to this when it happens. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, we're on the home screen here. We're going to go to our preferences, go to edit preferences. And if you haven't been in the preferences section of QuickBooks, if you're just starting out, or even if you've been in it a while, you haven't gotten in here, this is a great area to set up uh, a lot of features of QuickBooks. All right. So just a quick overview here. You've got all these options down here on the left and you can choose any one of them. And you've got my preferences and company preferences. All right. Now to change company preferences, you do have to be logged in as an admin. All right. So you want to make sure that you are able to do that. All right. So we're going to choose bills right here. We're going to go to company preferences and you'll see there's an option here that says warn about duplicate bill numbers from same vendor. Now, if this is unchecked, I would highly recommend that you check this and that way it will uh, warn you when you enter a bill. All right. So let's hit OK. And I want to show you how this works. So if we go to vendors, we go to enter bills and um, well, let's choose any vendor here. We'll say the Bayshore Cal Oil Service, 1215-2023. All right, the reference number right here is going to be your bill number or an invoice number or whatever the case may be. So we want to enter in one, two, three, four, five. We're going to put in the amount and we'll say this is due 114-2024. We'll say that it's fuel and we'll hit save and close. We're not going to assign a class. So now if I go back in, let's say that it's, uh, you know, I don't know, a couple weeks later and we go here and we got another one in the mail for them. We say Bayshore Cal Oil Service, 1215, 2023. And I enter the invoice number. So this is why this is really, really important to enter this invoice number right here. When you enter bills, you want to make sure that you enter the invoice number so that QuickBooks will catch when you enter a duplicate. This is how it knows is through this reference number. So when you enter the same one, here's what it'll do. You save 50 bucks, save and close. So it says warning problem. Another bill already has number one, two, three, four, five. You can keep the number on this bill, but that may cause you to confuse this bill with the other one later on. Change the number, enter a different number in the number field. So you can keep the number, but again, you face the risk of, you know, paying this bill twice or you cancel and you look at it and you say, oh my gosh, okay. That was supposed to be one, two, three, four, six and you save it and you're done. So those, that is a way that you can avoid uh, double paying bills to customers. You want to make sure that that is a check box. That check box is marked in the preferences and that way QuickBooks will help you realize when you get another bill from a vendor, that's the same one you've already entered and it'll alert you and help you to not enter a bill twice. Any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Head on over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Got a couple of other free videos there that will help you avoid the top three mistakes that uh, most QuickBooks users make and how to uh, not make those mistakes. So head over there now, uh, qbuniversity.org.